Welcome to today's episode, and today is special. I have another PBK guest, Dan Bellman, who is joining us. Dan is part of the, I only have the postcard just right now, but our Open for Business book that we put together in terms of pulling back the curtain on our businesses with really candid, truthful entrepreneurial stories about what's working now in our businesses, what wasn't working, what we might change, and things that we have learned along the way. So I am so glad that you are joining me today and cannot wait to introduce you to Dan. Dan is the founder of Chief Experts Academy, which is a resource-packed absolute treasure trove of information that provides ongoing support, training, and content for contractors and designers that are involved in the sales and development of plans for residential and light commercial buildings. Dan himself has more than 27 years of experience using and teaching the CAD software called Chief Architect. Plus, his 20 years of experience as a remodeling contractor gives him the insights necessary to understand what it takes to run a successful design-build construction company. Dan's passion for helping designers and contractors maximize the compensation generated from their design services helps ensure that their design sales become the profit center that these businesses deserve. Dan has had the good fortune of marrying his high school sweetheart and raising four beautiful kids. He takes time hanging out with his family, long walks, and riding his bike. He is always looking for ways to help those around him, and I can speak to that because as a PBK Gold member, Dan is always so generous with sharing his experiences. Dan, I am so glad that you are here with us today, and I cannot wait for you to share with us like what's working now in your business. So if you will give us a rundown, because I know you got lots of stuff going on. All right. Thanks, Tamsin. And uh, I'm pleased to be with you too. And I'll start out with you. (laughs) <laughs> you're working in my business. So um, I'm so well, pleased that, that I was found- unexpected. <laughs> well, you know, I just had to give that a quick thought because, you know, um, as I'm talking to you, it's just like we get together every week in our mastermind group with our gold call. And then I attend some of your other uh, meetings every now and then I'm at your uh, uh, page where you have all the postings. And it's like, I learn something every time I go over there. So it's just, uh, it's been really wonderful. I always look forward to our Wednesday morning calls and meetings and uh, I pick up, sometimes I pick up a ton of things, sometimes just a tidbit and, and it's always good. So uh, I just appreciate you being here and, and keeping everything going with what you've got going. It's been a big help. So Thank I think you. Like, yeah, it's been about a year now. I think. A good way to kick off a call. Yeah, there you go. That <laughs> works. Uh, But, you know, one of the other things that worked for me is persistence. I mean, it's bottom line Mm -hmm. is I've been, I started doing what I do a long time ago, back in 1993, when I found this software called Chief Architect that I fell in love with and I knew it would make a major impact on the construction industry. And I wanted to be part of that. So I became a dealer for the software. I became a... Uh, trainer. I taught myself how to train people to use the software. I've always been kind of a techie guy, so that fit right in with what I like to do. And I was a remodeling contractor at the time. I'd been doing remodeling for about 17 years, and and I used that software in my business for three years before I made the commitment to stop doing contracting and doing do chief architect design. I'm designing plans for others. I'm teaching people how to use the software. And at that point, I was also selling the software. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, it's been quite a journey ever since. So, you know, do the math. That's, that's a number of years now, 21, 21 and seven. Hey, well, that's, yeah. Longevity is an asset in many, yeah. many things. Yeah. For so, sure. it, yeah and, and it's been up and down. I mean, we've had good years, bad years, uh, but it's always been the coolest thing that drives me is what I see, what I teach and what 
what this software can do to help people in their business and, and how it really, it, it changes the way people do business. I mean, it's a simple CAD program for drawing buildings for Pete's sake, who would, who would you know, give that much cred credence. But when you can use a software that draws it in 3D and now you can walk people through and show them things and talk about the, you know, how's this gonna look and how's this gonna look, uh, mm -hmm. that becomes real, that's cool. And so, so well, that- Well, and you think how much Kajabi changed our world in able, but, oh, I mean, God. I'm with you on, I'm with you on tech can change the world. Oh my I'm God. I'm totally yeah. on board with that, with that concept. Yeah. And I've actually done a call like this with Kajabi too, where I was just saying how much their software has made such a big difference for my oh, business. Software because... is a, software is a big <sighs> deal. And I can only imagine, especially in the construction industry where you yeah. have so many people I just want to build with my, I just want to go build. I just want to go plan it or design yeah. it and all of those pieces that having a way for you to teach them how to use it. And like you said, persistence, I find it's easier to be persistent when stuff is easier to do. So yeah. it works. I think they, they yeah. kind of blend hand in hand together. And that's sure. true with that. That's true with anything. So it's like a job. If it didn't work, I wouldn't be using it. I mean, I'd use something else. Uh, but it works, you know, it just works. It, it's easy to use and it works. And, you know, it, it solved a major pain point I was going through at the time with my old membership software, which drove me nuts. And, you know, that, that 15 minute task that would take four hours would just literally just, I could pretty much depend on that. I wanted to change something. I knew I'd have to go do all sorts of crap. It's always, but anyway, that's technology. It just gets better and better. Yeah, that, so that so yeah, so that's been cool. The other cool thing that uh, that has driven me um, to this point is in my industry, there's a lot of people that undervalue their expertise, I guess it'd be a good mm. way to put it. So you've got a contractor that's been building for a long time and they, they just, they know how to do stuff. They know how to build a room. They know what needs to be done, what goes where, how high it should be, what headers they should use, what floors they should use. And for them, it becomes second nature. And I think this is true for a lot of people um, where you just get so used to doing what you do all the time that when someone asks you a question, you just answer it. Oh, yeah, you should know. That's a big, no big deal. It's just what it is. And that's true of doing plans for buildings. And uh, I've helped teach hundreds and hundreds of contractors the value that they bring to the planning process so that what they used to be giving away or charging very little for, they've now made a profit center in their business because they're seeing the value that they're bringing to the, to the projects that they work on and to their clients. And what a difference it makes if they get compensated fairly for the services that they're offering. And it's- now how, have you, how have you been able to help them learn that? Because um, I agree, it, it, teaching people how to, learning how to value your own stuff and then being able to pass that on? Uh, you know, consistency again, it's just, I keep putting that message out there. Everybody I talk to, I'll ask them, how do you charge for your plans? And uh, mm. they say, oh, we don't charge much. And then we'll say, well, let me tell you something. <laughs> you know, I, I, I've created a, a nice free handout that people can, you know, it's a, I think it's 15 pages they can download. Mm -hmm. And I've listed all the reasons they need to be doing it. Um, that's helped a lot of people. Uh, just again, just keep it out there. You know, I, I, I'm on Facebook, I'm on social media. So I, I am involved in Facebook. I have Facebook group. I, I do YouTube. Uh, I do uh, some Instagram. And when I say mm -hmm. I do it, I don't necessarily do much of it. I, I do hire people that help me with that. So yep. because I've been able to build my business through all these years of consistency, I now have money to be able to do that. So that's cool. And so that helps me get the message out. I started this show, a one hour show once a week, which this one day I thought, well, that'd be a good idea. <laughs> Sometimes that's what you gotta do, just try it. And- uh, Oh, a test kitchen, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. So this, oh, this, this Friday will be my 41st show, um, 41st Congrats. week. Yeah, so I took two, I took two weeks what off. Kind of, what kind of a show is it? It's called The Designer's Show and I, I will get on there once or twice a month and just do cool things with chief architect software, show people how it works and, and give them tips and pointers. Um, last week, we just did what's, what I call a plan review, which I'm going to start doing every, every month where I 
just a client did a really nice plan. We just kind of went through it, uh, mm -hmm. showing people the cool things that he did in his plan. And then I offered all sorts of tips. Well, you should, you know, want to try this, 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 and this. And, and it was really, it was really fun. So that's really helped build my YouTube channel, my YouTube following. Um, it's gotten my nice. hours of views up a lot. I, I know you're talking about doing some YouTube things here, and I'm excited to get involved mm -hmm. with you on that. And so YouTube's a cool channel. I really like YouTube. It's fun to get the word out. Plus, I post all the shows in my blog. So now I've got content for my blog. Now, are you using blog. YouTube Live for the I shows? Use, and how are you, how are use, you like filming the show? I use a program called uh, StreamYard. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's called StreamYard. It's an app that you, you can get and it's, you can do it for free or I have the subscription. I think it's 450 a year or something like that. And I can stream to up to eight different platforms at once. Um, mm. So right now I do my Facebook page, Facebook group and YouTube. Um, I don't, they don't have Instagram um, and I don't do some of the other channels that they have on there. So I do those three plus I have it embedded on my website. So when people come and watch the show, they're actually watching it on my website. They can leave comments and it's really cool. It's easy to switch between the viewers, your screen. It's a neat piece of software. So StreamYard is something I'd highly recommend people look at if they're wanting to do some live streaming because uh, mm -hmm. it's so easy to use. It's really cool. And that's- what I, I agree. I saw the uh, Super Bowl. We were flipping through some YouTube stuff when the Super Bowl was on uh -huh. and one of the live streams was StreamYard. I was like, okay. Yeah. Now the whole world's going to know about StreamYard, just yeah. like they know about Zoom. Yeah, that's a cool story behind the couple Amazing. people there. Yeah, a couple of young guys developed it. And after, I don't know, three years or something like that, they're, they're doing quite well. So they're pretty cool. Good. Yeah. So <laughs> someone had a good idea and they said to go with it. So that's that's the way it works, you know. And uh, it's, it's just, you know, this whole Internet world this, that we're in, especially now in the pandemic when we're kind of trapped at home and we have to do everything through zoom uh mm -hmm. it's thank god we have that so that we can at least stay in touch with people and we can see each other and we can have good conversations and continue to share and get our information you know get our content out there um, and plus learn from others so that's just we're very fortunate i think I, I feel very blessed with that can't imagine what they did can't imagine what they did and that was it uh, uh, 1908 oh. pandemic or whatever it was when he didn't have anything <laughs> oh man yeah no way to connect but also no like the immediacy of access to information yeah about okay here's here's what's happening on this corner of the world and that corner of the world which i also realize is a double-edged sword because that's why it became a global pandemic yeah because we can get yeah. everywhere we exactly so, you know, yeah Crazy time. So I'll be, I'm looking forward to when this is over and we can start hugging people again. So that's, I think, hey. one of the things I miss the most. I've always been a I big hugger. Totally agree. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We, yeah. Boys and I went out yesterday and we happened to see a few other humans. And I, my husband was like, can you check on something at home? I'm like, we're actually out. I was like, I might, I, I keep tearing up. He's like, why? I go, because. The, like I'm not going to take it for granted that I could actually walk into this store once again and you know, different mm -hmm. things like that. But I know. I know. Yeah. We're, we're pretty hunkered down here in my household too. We, we, you know, we go do our shopping and things like that, but yeah, no traveling, no, nothing. I mean, mm -hmm. I'll hit my local coffee shop once a week, maybe because they do a really nice job of keeping things spread out and, and, and uh, safe. So I'm comfortable being there, but not, not, anywhere else so but yeah you know in terms of what's working i mean we are in the middle of a pandemic how did that what's working now how did the how did the pandemic impact like what you've done in the last year well you know i do a lot of live events where i what i like to do is rent a big house and fill it up with clients so i might rent a last last year I was in Orlando on this week and I was wow. looking at my date and I rented a 16 bedroom house, which in Orlando, they have lots of those because they have Disney and all of that stuff there. Mm -hmm. And I had all the rooms filled up with clients and we 
were there for four days and we, I taught chief architect classes, plus we got to know each other really well. So it's a really cool event that I do. And I would do those, you know, six to 12 times a year, depends on what's going on. And after that, I went to Dallas, did a conference room training. So those live events worked well. Since the pandemic hit, I've, that's all gone. So I, I have nothing planned till uh, maybe next, you know, after the New Year's, which I really don't have anything planned, but I'm planning to plan something. Um, so that's forced me to take everything online. I, I've always done a lot of online training, but now I've taken those live classes that I do and I've formalized them into online classes that I created four separate classes, uh, came up with some good topics and uh, sales on those have gone quite well. So I've got, I'm starting my third one of those four classes tomorrow actually. And that, that'll be wow. two, two times a week for three weeks. And then I roll into what I call Mastering Chief Architect, which is a course that once a week for 90 minutes for 15 weeks. So it's an extended course, but because it's a software product that you're learning, um, slow is sometimes better in that kind of a situation because there's so many things that get covered that if you go too fast, too long, people can't absorb that. So, so I, I've done that in the past. I did that course about seven years ago and I'm finally redoing it, which I kept saying I was going to redo it because, but I was always too busy with my live events that um, now I'm doing it. <laughs> so there you go. Didn't have nothing else to do. Do but you pre-record these classes or I, do you no, do with mine? Yeah, I'm the kind of guy that if I pre-record something, I get distracted real easy and I'll never get it done. So I might get started on something and then I'll go, oh, I should do this and I do that. And the next thing I know, the day is gone. I haven't done yet. Put me in front of a live, put me in front of a live audience and I just go and I love it. I have fun with it. I interact. Um, mm -hmm. I know my topic extremely well because I've been doing it for so long. And that's how I do my classes. I record those. Then um, I, I post them right away so people can go back and review them right away. And then we take those videos and edit them. And we, you know, I use Camtasia and we time code them. So then we go back and put the time code in with the videos. So, you know, we might have 50 topics in a class sometimes. So if you want to go to this topic, go to that time code and you're done. Um, and that works really well. So I've, I've always done that with my training videos. Instead of just doing something and plopping it up there, I want to make it easy for people to find things within the video. And mm -hmm. so we put a lot of effort into editing those. Plus, it, you know, I'll take a 90 minute class and, and I might cut out 15 minutes of fluff that doesn't need to be there. Uh, or often I'm kind of known for going over in my classes. I mean, I've okay. taken an I've taken a 90 minute class and stretched it to three hours. No problem. And <laughs> And I will usually not get much drop off. I might have a hundred people on the in the class, and, and I'll have eighty when that's done. So it, it's nice. yeah, it's a fun topic. I really enjoy teaching, and so that works well. It also well. saves you the it saves you the time of having to pre-record and edit, which makes getting content out there heavy. Yeah, and you're also aware of your strength, which is hey, if I pre-record it, it's never going to get done. Yeah. Well kind of hard to get a solution out to people if it's still in editing. So well, pl plus if you do it ahead of time, you don't know if anybody's going to buy it. Right. So, yes. you know, my philosophy and you hear this from a lot of people create the class and start selling it and then do it. Um, if no one buys it, well, don't do it. <laughs> so, right. um, you know, exactly. it, people, yeah. people saying, Oh, I'll totally buy that. Until they enter that credit card number, hmm. you yeah. cannot well, you, believe them. So. You have to believe them when they put their credit card number in. Yeah. So the other thing I'm pretty excited about right now is I'm working with some other people that have great content that don't know how to do this online stuff. So mm. we're joining forces. They're going to come in and, and we're going to create classes um, that they'll do. I'll help them set it up, market it, uh, and kind of create a bit of a partnership. So that's pretty exciting. Um, you know, it's not a formal so, business partnership, but it's a collaboration, we'll call it. And mm -hmm. very excited about that. So they're excited, we're, I'm excited, and we'll be able to bring 
content that I'm not very um, up on or you know knowledgeable about, they are you know, kitchen and bath stuff. I don't do much with that. So I'm excited about bringing that kind of content. And I'm out looking for other people too, to do some different things. So um, I think we can, you know, I've built my platform to a spot where I can start doing that pretty easily now. So, so that'd be pretty well, exciting. Don't you find too, that as our businesses grow and they mature, that in so many ways, we do become facilitators and connectors and organizers yeah. and beautiful, beautiful magic happens when yeah. you say, oh, you're an, you're excellent at this. I'm excellent at this. Look at that. Like you put the ingredients together. And I think, you know, the cool thing about it is I'm finding is that when we start doing that, we're not just creating twice the amount of, of information or twice the value. We're almost three times because you start putting people together and it's not just a simple two times, whatever. It, it, you feed off of each other and you just bring more. And having that exchange is really cool, really valuable. So true. Yeah. Well, is there something you would like to leave the audience with today? Gosh, you know, part of it depends on who's watching this. <laughs> but People you know, just like us. Just like us that are having fun uh, helping people online. Yes. Yeah, you know, just keep... Like Keep helping people online. Find, find your sweet spot where you're bringing really good value to the people that you like. You know, they call that your avatar. The people that mm -hmm. you have a lot in common with that you can um, help influence and help do better in their lives. Uh, you, know, it, it, you know, in the information world that we're in, people are looking for good content to help them in their personal life, in their business, you know, just wherever they are, with family members. I mean, there's just so much going on and people are going so through so many different things that, yeah, just find that sweet spot and, and go for it. Just put the word out. I got a friend that's wanting to do some um, uh, health training. He's really a fit guy. He does a lot of cool stuff. He's wonderful online and he's been talking about it for years. And I say, ah, Ken, well, where are you at today? <laughs> he said, I just bought Camtasia. Uh, and you got a video done yet? Yeah, we're going to do it on this weekend. I'll check with him next week and we'll see if he's got that first video done. And he says, yeah, I'm going to get 10,000 emails uh, in my list. And you got that first one done yet? Um, so anyway, I keep encouraging him. We're good friends, so I can, I rib mm -hmm. him quite a bit, but uh, he'll get there. I mean, he's done it before and he, uh, you know, things came up and he made some changes mm -hmm. and, but he'll get back there, but he's just keep got this technology thing i gotta get this and do this and do this and do this just do it just say i hit youtube live and record a video just go do something post and post a blog video do something just do it and yeah. prime the pump and get it going and that's kind of probably the biggest thing that you got to do if you're if you're stuck uh just do that and uh, sometimes you gotta breathe deep and hard and just say, okay, I'm going to do it. And then you go do it. And once you push start and go, you go. And that's, again, back to me with my recording of stuff. It put me in front of some people, one person, and I'll go. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, you asked me to do a testimony for you. I think, don't think I ever did it. So, so you put me in front of you, and I'm good. <laughs> There's your testimony. <laughs> in the biggest sense possible. If anybody that's watching this is not part of Tampton's group, you need to join now. Because it's really a good, best thing you'll ever do. Tamsin will oh. take great care of you. So thanks again. Oh, thank you so much. And it is so fun having you part of PBK and PBK Gold and all the discussions that you know we have all the time. And I think every single one of us would echo what you're saying in that just go, just start. Yeah. It might be messy the beauty, which I like to tell, you know, tell people there's a small, like luxury of small numbers. Like, yeah, it's not like you walked in, you know, we're on stage on the Oprah Winfrey show and you know, yeah. this horrible thing happens. Most people aren't going to see the first one, 10, 20, 30, but they'll, you get to practice that well, luxury just getting going when i is when so i started cool. this when i started this in 1993 i knew that at some point i was going to get to a point where 
I would have lots of people and, you know, I, I, I believed in what I was believing. And so I kept my, everybody's email. I started building a list. I started staying in touch with them one at a time, one at a time. I built my list up to where it is. So when I look at my list, I, I recognize so many of the names on there and it's really cool. And that's why I built, I've built a good following by just making all those people friends and uh, yeah. it works. It really does. So. It comes back to caring about people and connecting. Exactly. And simple. Exactly. Yeah. And soon, big hugs again. <laughs> yes. Yes. One day soon, we will get off Zoom. I'll be so thrilled. Uh, well, we'll never get off of Zoom, but we'll we'll get out there and be with people too. Yes. So we'll do the combination. Do besides, besides Zoom to see yeah. people, which would yeah. be Dubai. absolutely heavenly. Yes. Well, thank you again. So much and it is so generous of you to share with us what's working right now in your thanks business. Samson thanks appreciate it thank you so much for joining Dan and I I hope that you had a really great time listening to him and his story Dan is such an incredible person and really likes to help wherever he possibly can and really is a true testament to sticking with it. Like he mentioned, you know, persistence, consistency, those really are key portions of running our businesses. And we have to remember not to ever undervalue those two things because you keep showing up, you care about the people that you are here to serve. And I have yet to witness a business that doesn't do its very, very best and reach its goals when it is persistent, consistent, and taking care of people. Thanks again for spending some time with me and Dan. Very, very soon, there will be a book instead of a postcard, and it is the Open for Business book. You can find all of the information in the links, and we are thrilled to be pulling back the curtain on our businesses, sharing with you what's working now, and maybe even inspiring you along the way. Have a great day, and I will see you again next week for another interview as part of the Open for Business series.